The song's lyrics were only 18 syllables long, and it depicted two kids dancing in front of a vibrant backdrop. The irritating, monotonous, and infantile video has given rise to products, memes, and migraines. The all-time most watched YouTube video is a baby shark. Presently, it has received approximately 11.2 billion views. That is more than the 8 billion people that now inhabit the planet, as those of you with strong math skills will have figured out. The Korean children's entertainment company Pinkfong, which is owned by Smart Study, created the baby shark video that we have all grown to love and detest in 2016. It wasn't the first successful baby shark video, but it became quite popular for reasons we'll discuss in a moment. Before the Korean mega hit, there were other sharks. The song has really been around for more than a century. The song is said to have first been performed in the early 20th century when children sang it while dancing around campfires. Alexandra Muller, well known by her stage as Alamul, released a German version of Baby Shark in 2007 and it quickly became a YouTube success. Alamul received a record deal as a result of the video's success, and her dance version, Kleiner High, Little Shark in German, peaked at number 25 on the German dance charts. American children's performer Johnny only uploaded a version on YouTube four years later. He had been performing at camps for years and had seen how well liked the song was by kids. He therefore made the decision to film a performance and post it to YouTube. Despite these films doing reasonably well, things didn't really take off until Pinkfong joined the shark action. Baby Shark Dance was released on June 18, 2016 by Pinkfong. Hope Seguan, a 10-year-old Korean-American, sang in the video while two young actors danced. Very little was noticed on the internet. Even Pinkfong, who produced 4,000 films and tales, didn't have high hopes for this particular one. The video didn't become popular until 2017, and that wasn't related to the production business. The hashtag Baby Shark Challenge was originally used in Indonesia, when individuals started to share videos of themselves dancing to the song. When K-pop groups like Red Velvet, Girls Generation, and Black Pink all started to play the song at their performances, it then reached a new level. These bands made sure there would be lots of views and imitators because they each had 15.6 million YouTube followers at the time. Or, I suppose, copy sharks. Hashtag Baby Shark Challenge was popular on Twitter by August 2017. From then, it rose to fame in the U.S. thanks to cover performances by stars like Ellen DeGeneres, Josh Groban, Sophie Turner, and James Corden. It entered the Billboard Top 40 in January 2018. The shark had made the leap to the U.S. And why was it so well liked? Actually, the song's success may be attributed to a few beneficial factors. It features a catchy music that everyone can sing along to, an easy dance to follow, plenty of vibrant colors, and most importantly, it is highly kid-friendly. In essence, it fulfills every requirement for success. The song features a straightforward melody that is both catchy and simple to sing and learn. Children are not only listening to the music, they are also seeing and performing it, according to Beatriz Aleri an associate professor at the Thornton School of Music at the University of Southern California. It was a component of Pinkfong's approach. Smart Studies marketing manager, Kevin Sunghyun Yoon, stated that they sought for children's songs to which they could add a pleasant tempo. We put a lot of effort into selecting rhymes that kids can sing along to. We gave consideration during the preparation stage to how simple the rhyme is for kids to sing along with and how natural it sounds when spoken out loud by kids. The tactic was really successful. Revenue for Smart Study increased by 47% to $34.3 million in 2018. Smart Study at first appeared content to rely just on the song. As their original video proceeded to get tens of millions of views, they created translations in 20 additional languages. It was a marketer's fantasy, but they were slow to seize the chance. Within weeks, Baby Shark would have been on items all across the world if it were a Disney character. Before Christmas, there would have been a movie and a theme park ride available. Pinkfong waited a while before going into full-on shark mode. They reached an agreement with Kellogg's, which was their first substantial brand expansion effort. 
Thus, Very Fantastic Serial first appeared on Walmart's shelves in August 2019 and later Sam's Club. For those who are curious, the cereal is berry flavored loops with marshmallows. All that sugar sounds fantastic for Baby Shark's teeth. 